shock and grief tonight. Some people describe Clemson University as heavy in light of so many losses in so short an amount of time. WYFF News 4's Mandy Gaither is live and local at Clemson University. Mandy, a lot of students we hear are seeking counseling. Well, Carol, I'm told there's a significant increase in the number of students coming in for counseling, understandable after so much loss. At Clemson University, everything seems like business as usual, but some students will tell you looks can be deceiving. It's definitely been pretty heavy here on campus. Four deaths in the first six weeks of classes. Freshman Virginia Gilliam died August 24th. Andrew O'Neill, a graduate student, died September 11th. Tucker Hips, September 22nd. And the most recent loss, Kendall Wernett, on September 29th. It's definitely obvious that, uh, that it happened. Something went down here in, at Clemson. To cope with that shock and grief, more and more students are seeking help. Raquel Contreras is the director of the Campus Counseling Center. We are branching out and attempting to bring in additional counselors to help us with the overflow at this time. Contreras says students can walk into their clinic for help between 10 and 2.30 at Redfern Monday through Friday. There are also on-site grief counseling sessions for groups grieving together. Many a time uh, being in a group of their own peers, in a therapeutic group of their own peers can be very helpful. Uh, to where they understand that they are not alone in their own reactions to the grief. With loss comes unity, and many here say they're now seeing just what it means to be part of the Clemson family. And counselors say that everyone grieves in their own way, and they're suggesting that students not isolate themselves and to take care of their health. That means eating properly, exercising, and remembering to get sleep. If that's been a problem, they are suggesting that students come in for help. Mandy Gaither, WYFF News 4, live at Clemson University. Mandy.